The trip lasts around 20 minutes and takes you through four rooms. Be aware, there will be flashing lights, some scary music, moments in the dark, and a few loud noises. These may affect people especially sensitive to those things, so be prepared. There are also some amazing immersive projections. If you feel a little motion sickness, just look up at the ceiling. There will be facilitators along the way to explore with you. If you need assistance for any reason, just let them know. In the unlikely event of an emergency, reflective arrows on the floor will guide you to the nearest exit. Oh, and please, no eating, drinking, or flash talk. But singing, dancing, and generally having a great time are actively encouraged. The doors behind you will be opening in just a moment. Let the journey begin. For the time being, you are going to follow the dancers as they make their way around the entire room. We're going to be doing a lot of interactive stuff. So let's start. Music. It moves us like nothing else. Personal, it affects our bodies on a microscopic level. Music brings us together in a shared human experience. But why? Why does music make us feel so many emotions and feel them so deeply? Let's start with what it is like to feel music, literally, with our hands. Now is your chance to actually touch music. Please move to the end of the room and place your hands on the posts. All right, here we go. Hang on in five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. You were feeling sound waves. You can remove your hands from the posts now. We can feel music physically and emotionally. Think of a time when music calmed you, excited you. It can scare us and transport us. It can make us want to dance with joy. But how does music spark our emotions? What happens physically to make us feel happy when we hear our favorite song? Let's find out. All right, we're gonna find out in our next room. I want you all to follow me. In this next room, there will be some seats. You can have a seat. Fix a brain and those two neurons. Music's journey to stir your emotions begins in your brain. enter your ear where they are converted to tiny electrical charges. These charges travel to your brain and activate billions of nerve cells called neurons. Let's zoom in for a closer look. The neuron's job is to receive information, like music, and translate it so our brain can interpret it. Music goes from notes to neurons. Get it? A lot happens in our brains when we listen to music. That is something we all have in common. No matter what we listen to, 
our brains respond in similar ways when we hear music. Let's investigate how music affects our brains. This is a real scan of the human brain. The areas lighting up are the auditory networks, the parts of the brain that process sound. Music activates these areas. The areas lighting up now are the pleasure and reward regions. When our auditory networks communicate with the reward regions, we feel emotions. This highlighted area is the hippocampus. It plays an important role in the formation of memories. We all have great memories associated with our favorite songs. When we hear those tunes, our auditory networks, hippocampus, and reward system are all engaged in our emotions search. Have you ever felt the urge to dance when you hear a great song? Areas from different parts of the brain, the premotor regions near the top, and the cerebellum near the bottom, are responsible for movement. When your auditory networks communicate with these areas, you want to move. With all these different areas activated, listening to music truly is a full brain activity. No matter what music you listen to, your own brains activate in the same ways revealed by these brain scans. All right, friends. What's so even more amazing? I made a musical genre playlist for you. Together, I want you to hear your favorite musical genre. It's going to be a circle on the ground. I want music. you to stand next Let's to your favorite out. musical genre. There are five different genres of music to pick from. Take a listen to each. Remember which is your favorite. I should have told you that the circle is going to be moving around, so you might want to wait a few more seconds. Blues. playlist for you all. So, with that being said, let's see what happens in a few more moments. Seems like we got a lot of pop going on right now, or a lot of rock. I see somebody in between the classical and blues. So, alright, sit down if you enjoy hip-hop. I want to sit down if you enjoy hip-hop. Alright, if you enjoy blues, sit down. If you enjoy some rock, sit down. So, with that being said, it seems like the winner. Alright, I'll listen to this song 15 times today. Follow me, we're done. Here we go. We're now going to be learning about how music and how it affects the heart. Go ahead to the next round. I'm just saying, you all could have picked a different song. <laughs> all right, we're now gonna be learning about how music and how it affects the heart. We might not have enough heart rate monitors for everybody, so we actually you can either share or just let someone take the time. You're gonna have to put your pants in. That's yeah. Once you place your hands on those monitors, do not let go. It's gonna take a while to register. The heartbeat. It's the drumbeat of life. A rhythm we all share. Music can affect our heart rates no matter who you are or where you come from. It's universal. Music can slow down our pulse. Or speed it up. This happens because music activates our brains, which then sends signals to our bodies that make them respond too. Let's check out this phenomenon for ourselves. Move to the stations in front of you to experiment with how your heart rate changes in response to music. Please place your hands on the grips and hold on tight. The monitor will measure your heart rate. You will see your heart rate on your screen. Each station has a number, and it corresponds to a chart on the wall. Watch to see how your heart rate changes in reaction to the music.
notice how your heart rate responded to the music? Did it increase? Decrease? Perhaps it stayed the same. Everyone's change was different, but you each had a physical response to the music. Listen to another piece of music and see how you react this time. To this music? Was it the same or different? And how did that music make you feel? Did you actually feel calmer? It's remarkable the dramatic effects music can have on our brains and our bodies. They come together to stir our emotions, creating our full human experience with music. All right, friends, you all can let go. We're going to go to our last room, and this last room is going to be a little bit interesting. There's going to be some circles in the ground. Stand on top of those circles, and they will play an instrument for you. We encourage you to check out as many instruments as you can before the song ends. So with that being said, we enjoy the last room. Let's try to get every instrument to play all at once. So everyone, find a circle, figure out which one is your favorite, and you're going to go from there. is your favorite. Keep going until the current song ends. Keep going to your left. Keep going to your left. Alright friends, keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, keep going to the left. stimulates our brains and activates our neurons. We experienced its effect on our on the ground, there's circles but around nothing the can fully explain the beautiful human connection to music.
greatest powers is that no human being is ever alone as long as there is music in the air. The next time you hear music, remember, music happens in our brains, it happens in our bodies, and it happens in the space between us. All right, friends, with that being said, check out as many instruments as you can before you all exit. But that does conclude your time here in those Neurons. Once you're done checking out every instrument, you're going to exit out right over there in the back of the room. Thank you all so much for coming. My name is Jeremiah. If you enjoyed the program, let me know. If you hated the program, my name is no longer Jeremiah. Thank you all so much. Hope to see you all once again.